I don't think in labels, and it sometimes gets in my way, but it also has some advantages. Most concepts, philosophies, equations, even like things like the concept of infinity, for me, have feelings associated with them. And I categorize them in my head via these feelings. I, I, I use the part of my brain that's normally used to process emotions to process concepts and all this other stuff. And it has some interesting results at times. Um, some of the reason why I pause so much uh, when I'm speaking is because I will lose... I, I, I'm... <laughs> Language is the very last process before I say something. Because the whole time when I'm thinking about something, it's not in the language yet. It, it, I, I, it's the language is the very last process. So, but some of the weird advantages it has, um, being that I think of equations and concepts and philosophies and, you know, someone just taught me something and what they just taught me has now, ha that concept has, that, has a feeling, right? I can take um, these concepts, these philosophies, these feelings, these things that are categorized as feelings, I can add them subtract them, divide them, multiply them, and get an answer. And then I just have to figure out how to word that answer. So I process things quite differently than most people. Um, and it makes me very good at creative things, uh, especially artistic things. It, it works out very, very, very well for that. I'm able to uh, come up with some things on the fly that and most people just couldn't do. If I if I was to have the patience to really really learn guitar well, for instance, I could come up with some solos that would blow people's minds. I can hear a song and I can hear this solo in my head that's just like fucking amazing. But they, there's no way I could play it. Um, now vocally, see, I, I, vocally I'm able to do things that I'm able to use my voice like an instrument, uh, you know, like a, you know, like, like, like a guitar solo or something. I'm able to do stuff like that, and most people don't approach vocals that way. So, yeah, I'm kind of tooting my own horn, but, you know, and, and with uh, visuals, you know, uh, I can, you know, some people take a long time to figure out a color scheme for something. I look at something and, and I see the color scheme for it instantly. I know exactly what colors go with it. I know I could tell you, oh yeah, you know, three colors, four colors, five colors, and tell you exactly the ones, how much of each color to use, da 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 da. Okay, that's kind of a stupid thing to go on about, because it might be perceived as a very simple thing, and for some people it is, for some people it isn't. Um, big disadvantages, though, is sometimes I will get lost in this way of categorizing things, where instead of focusing on the concepts that someone's saying, my mind can't do that at the time. And so I will, uh, someone is talking, and I suddenly can't focus on what they're saying. I will focus more, I, I, it'll be this extreme thing on focusing on the way, the way that they say it sounds, their inflections, their tone, the pitch, how quickly consonants come together, pauses, all this stuff, just this massive, massive categorization of all these things. And then I'll have, I'll have it categorized in my head emotionally, those things. And that shit gets in the way really bad. I'll, I'll have to tell people to repeat themselves a lot. And they're like, why, were you not listening? And I'm just, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, but I, I, my mind did this thing, you know? The worst is when I'm reading something, and my mind goes into that mode. And then I, I, I might as well be reading the same line over and over. In fact, I've caught myself reading the same line over and over again. I need to study this. I need to study this. Read it. And then I'll, I'll try to read it, and it'll just be this. I'll, I'll find that one time I think I was reading the, the same line for like three minutes. 
<laughs> it's just, oh God, it's embarrassing to, to admit, but it is, you know, it's happened. And, um, so, and it's got disadvantages, but it's got advantages. And so, you know, I'm the last person to ask how a discussion went verbatim. Okay, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to tell you. I can tell you, as, as long as I've understood what's been discussed, I can, tell, I can tell you in my own words exactly what was discussed. Maybe I'll struggle a little bit with the words, but, you know, um, but to, to give the exact wording, hell no. No way. So, if ever you've wondered why I have some of the pauses I do, and if ever you've wondered why, there are some things that it seems like, why can't you get this? This is simple, why can't he get it? And then there's other things that I get right away and it's just like, well, did he study this a bunch? What what happened, you know? There's things I get instantly that most people don't and there's things that most people get instantly that I don't. And so, you know, when you're explaining something to me and it seems like I'm not getting it, you know, sometimes you have to reword it. Sometimes it seems like I'm not getting plain English. And then there are other times where I'll get something before you've even finished. So, pluses and minuses. Anyway. <laughs>